Hey everybody, my name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching today. As a church, we're wanting the voice of faith to be a life-changing message. We want to spread encouragement and spread God as much as we can. Today, we pray that you are filled with faith and filled with hope as you hear the voice of faith. Check out this message from Pastor Lisa. Hi everybody, it's so good to be with you guys again tonight on the Voice of Faith broadcast. We really appreciate all of you that tune in, all of those who let us know that you're watching. I'm amazed at the friends that we've made far and wide since we started doing this. Uh, people out of state um, write us all the time that, um, you know, maybe their churches were closed, you know, during COVID and uh, they were looking for some good faith-filled word, you know, to get into their spirit, to get into their heart, and they found us, and uh, they continue to watch us even now. So thank you so much for being with us and for continuing to support the program. We've been talking about the goodness of God, and I want to read a verse. This has been our text over in Psalms 23 and verse 6. It says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You know, we're blessed. We, um, you know, see the goodness of God in our life all the time, and it is seen. It's a testimony to the world of how good God is. But, you know, God's goodness is in us, not just for us to be a sharer in that or for us to be a partaker of that. God's goodness is in us so that we can give that away. I want to be somebody that God can move through. I want to be somebody that God can flow through, that His goodness can flow out of my heart because He's made me good. You know, that's a revelation to a lot of people. They still think they're bad or they still think they're cursed or, you know, they don't think, you know, they're worthy of anything good and all of that. You need to get under a different message, brother, if that's what you've been thinking or you need to take authority over the devil and get your mind renewed to who you are in Christ. God made you good at the new birth. You were born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you're not just on your way to heaven. You've been delivered from that old man, from that old life, and you've been made new. And in that new birth, you were made good. Hallelujah. I tell you, when God touches your life, He's good. His goodness is all over it. And His goodness is in us. And out of the good treasure of our heart, we can bring forth these good things. We can bring forth these good words, these good deeds, these good blessings to, to help other people, maybe in their time of need, um, maybe just to show them and demonstrate to them the goodness of God. Whatever the purpose might be, God's goodness needs to be flowing through our life to other people. There's a real powerful verse, and it's found over in Ephesians 5 and verse 1. It says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ has also loved us and has given Himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savor. The word there, follower, means this. It means imitator. Be an imitator of God. Let me read some of these other translations. Uh, this one says, copy him, be imitators of God, copy him, and follow his example. I like the message translation. Listen to this. Watch what God does, and then you do it. Don't you just love that? How simple can that be? Watch what God does and then you do it. Well, what does God do? He's good to people. He forgives people. He shows mercy to people, doesn't condemn them, <laughs> doesn't try to guilt them, you know, into this or guilt them into that. I tell you, we do that with Christians. You don't find that out in the world. You find that in church. But I'm telling you, you can be set free from that kind of thinking if you're born again, you're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. If you're not born again, there's a Jesus that wants to save your life and make you new. But, you know, we need, to, we need to walk in the reality of what's happened to us. If we're saved, we're no longer a sinner saved by grace. We're good. Hallelujah. So that's what God makes us. 
But I like what it says there. Watch what God does and then you do it. It goes on to say this, like children who learn proper behavior from their parents, mostly what God does is love you. Keep company with Him and learn a life of love. Observe how Christ loves us. His love was not cautious, but extravagant. He didn't love in order to get something from us, but to give everything of Himself to us. Love like that. Praise God. You know, there are opportunities around you right now to love like that to show people the extravagant goodness and love of God. And I'm going to tell you, God wants to use you in that way. Our part is to prepare for that and just to be open for God to use us, to be open for God to uh, demonstrate Himself through our lives. You know, we can reach out to people that um, are in our family. We can reach out to people that live next to us, people that work, you know, where we work. There are lost people and hurting people everywhere, and they just need a touch from God. And God wants to use you. He wants to use the love that you have in your heart. It's the love of God. The love of God is so unique. The love of God is so special that when you come in contact with it, you know that you've come in contact with something so different. You know, many times when you when you uh, reach out with the love of God, immediately there's such a response. Many times, you know, people will cry or, or sometimes, you know, people will just be in awe of, of what it is that you've done for them or just the fact that you've thought of them. And you can tell them, say, you know what, I'm, I'm doing this because God loves you. I'm doing this because Jesus loves you and He cares about your life. And those words just resonate with people because they feel forgotten. They feel abandoned. They feel overwhelmed with life. But Jesus is a light. Aren't you glad that when you heard about Jesus, it was just like the light shone into your heart. The light of God just shone into your life. Well, that's what God is wanting to do for other people. But He uses His church. He uses His children to be a conduit of that power, to be a conduit of that love, to be a conduit of that goodness, and so that it can flow from us into the life of of other people. You know, be a blessing to people. Just have that at the forefront of your mind that I want to be a blessing. I want to be a giver. I want to be somebody that brings change. I want to be a person that bring, makes a difference in, in the lives of other people around me. And God will, will minister to your heart and He'll point people out to you and tell you what to do and how to make a difference in their life. For him. Amen. Share the love of God. Share the goodness of God. Share the kindness of God. And watch what God will do with that. That's how he's going to build his kingdom. Amen. Praise God. Well, we love you so much and thank you for being with us. Um, I'm just so blessed, so blessed to see what God's doing in people's lives. You know, as faith increases, people's vision increases and what people are expecting God to do for them is increasing. And God is just, I'm telling you, He is the God of exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. Good things are happening in the church. Good things are happening in people's lives. And I tell you, we haven't seen anything yet. It's just going to get better from here. Amen. We'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching today. As you know, with everything happening today, it is vital that Faith World is able to continue to spread Jesus. We cannot do this without you, the church. So at the end of each video, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, please email, message us, or call the church so that we can pray with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a blessed week, and we will see you next time on The Voice of Faith.